Hey everyone. So sorry I didn't uh, put out a review past couple of days. I've been binge watching a HBO TV series called Outsider. Um, I am not going to do a review on it, but I thought I'd just quickly mention that you should check it out. It's a good movie. It's a Stephen King novel series. Now, I don't know if there's going to be a second season. It doesn't seem like it by the ending, but check it out. It's a good TV show. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a bit creepy, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. Now, with this movie that I am reviewing that I just watched. Um, it is a Will Smith, Tom Holland, and I couldn't figure out the actress who plays it, uh, plays the uh, female, you know, spy. Um, her voice sounds really familiar, and, you know, I'm thinking, I had a couple of pictures of people in my mind of who it was, of uh, actress of it. It's a Latina, of, I believe. I could be wrong. It's a Latina, one of the actresses, and I will have a picture of her, one of here or here of her, and who it is. Um, will Smith in this, look, I like Will Smith, but he tends to play the same character over time, which, you know, for him, I don't have a problem, but he does a lot of cheesy stuff, uh, comments in here. Um, I did like his uh him as a pigeon i thought that was pretty funny and it got even more funnier throughout the um movie but you know i'm here's the thing about tom holland though okay i did not i do not like him as an actor i do not like him i only saw him in um the spider-man movies and i'm not a fan of his spider-man or at just alone, his character for me is kind of cringy. So it didn't really surprise me. Um, now, I could be wrong. He could put him in some other stuff where he doesn't act like that. But in this, he definitely acts like an awkward teen, kind of, you know, just annoying person. Um, that's why I didn't like this the MCU Spider-Man, you know. But And I also didn't like him in this. And it took away from the story for me personally. Now, I don't know what you think of him. If you like him, that's cool. But for me, I, I just can't stand that kind of stuff. And the way they went around his character about... Being this kind of millennial, kind of hippie kind of kid. Oh, you know, there's a lot of wusses these days. And kind of aspects with this. You know, anti-war, anti... You know, there's... A, being, being that you can't, you shouldn't kill anyone and stuff like this, which yeah, and the, I'm not going to get into the real world part of that. Where, where where I where I stand on that, I definitely stand in between. Um, but you got to keep in mind, this is a a film that is animation that is kind of towards kids. But if you all the swearing and all the, um, I mean, there was a good amount of swearing in here. Uh, well, not good amount, but like a decent amount. And there was definitely a lot of violence and violent talk to this for a kids movie. So it kind of leans towards adults. But this is a uh, uh, with that in mind and the fact this is a spy movie. I mean, you can't really it did make no sense to be non killing and whatnot towards the enemy. And uh, that that's what bothered me about this. And again, I know this is a, a animation that's usually towards uh, kids, um, but I mean, they tried to make it way more towards adults. So that's where I'm getting where I'm coming from on this. I'll, the, the whole the whole gadgets and stuff in here, you'll see what they are. But they're this really stupid. Um, it's just like the most stupidest gadgets I ever seen. Kind of childish. Uh, for example, I'll give you one of them: a blanket that pops out, and it's supposed to give you uh, happiness and stuff, like a child would. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here like that, and this is really stupid. And then honestly, it bothered me. I, you know, it was a good writing and whatnot, but I think they tried a little way too hard to appeal to preteens and even teens on this this was one of 
hands down one of the worst kids anim- animation movies I've ever seen. It's not the worst worst for me that was Frozen, and I am not, and I'm not going to go see the um, or watch the second Frozen. I just couldn't stand the Frozen movie. Um, but this is, it's not as bad as that, but it's definitely in that realm of it. Most of the time I do love and, or at least enjoy the Pixar movies and the sky blue company ones like this, this is sky blue. But for me, I didn't like this movie. Um, I did, I definitely would give this, uh, I mean, I did love the, the the partnership aspect of going back and forth between Will Smith and Tom Holland, but other than that and the pigeon thing, I definitely did not like this movie. I give this, you know, the be the be fair, I give this two out of five stars, um, and it's borderlining between two and five, uh, one and a half. So. Um, you know, I wouldn't recommend this movie. Um, maybe you like it. Maybe you saw it. Let me know if down below what you th- thought of the movie. And um, please like and subscribe. And I'm going to watch another movie. Hopefully, it'll be better than this, obviously, because it's going to be like an action flick. So, But I thought I'd just check this out, you know, put something, something that might be interesting in people, something new, and uh, do a review on it. Um, I would not watch it again, um, but please hit the bell icon and have a good day, everyone.